Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Triplus or Joren and I know it's been a while since I made my last video. I've had some ideas but uh, I guess a little bit too lazy to, to start working on them. Um, but recently I came across the idea or the need to, to set up myself with a small little home server. Uh, my NAS wasn't really um, uh, keeping up anymore with what I wanted to do. Same with my Raspberry Pis, they were running ARM uh, and yeah, it was getting difficult to, to manage them. My Raspberry Pi started dying uh, a little bit too often to my likings and um, I got the idea of, of purchasing a, a small server. My goals were uh, low power usage, small forum factor and still relatively capable of, of handling whatever I wanted to do. Um, I've ordered this box or, or the contents of this box a while back, uh, but due to the COVID-19 uh, things that are happening in the world, it had quite a bit of delay. So I only just received it uh, today, about three hours ago, I think, um, well, let's say four hours ago. Um, and I've been very uh, keen on opening it up. It's rather hard to believe that this little box will contain all the components of what I will be using uh, as a server compared to my computer next to it. I think the first thing is a, a micro SD card. I'm hoping that I can put the OS that I want to put on uh, on this. Then we have my, uh, my SSD, which will be my data storage. I bought a 500 gig uh, SSD. I got the blue uh yeah it's uh you have all the the numbers i'm like i won't be storing any data that i want to keep forever on this so i just decided to go for the blue it's so much cheaper than the red my ram is in here so um those are two um uh, ram um, modules 16 gigs of ram or two times eight uh, it is sodium because the motherboard that I bought will require sodium RAM. Oh, yeah. I also got uh, this. It's the first time that I'm ever assembling uh, a PC myself, believe it or not. Um, and this is supposed to, to help me with that, uh, to, to prevent the, the static electricity from, uh, from traveling into the CPU or the RAM or the, the motherboard and, and frying something. This cost me three or four euros it's just for peace of mind i want to spend the money for that um, a lot of people will say it's not necessary but uh... then the cpu that i bought it's a g5400 uh, gold intel um it's two cores and i think also two threads per core so this should be four uh, uh threads in in total um it's cheap but it's also quite powerful I don't see the, the gigahertz. I honestly do not remember. It's been a while since I ordered all these things. Uh, is it written on here? Yeah, 3.7 gigahertz. Then the last thing uh, is um, it's a case and a motherboard and a PSU in one. So it's the uh, ASRock Desk Mini. The A310, if I remember by heart. Um, is it written somewhere? Intel. Is it written on here? Yeah, Desk Mini 310. So, uh, supporting Intel CPUs. You also have a version with AMD. Um, but yeah, so that, that's what I've chosen. Apparently it's very power efficient, very quiet, um, and it gets the job done for, for what I need, I guess. So let's open this up. I'm very excited. Um, if it wants at least. Yeah. There we go. And it's also very small. Did I mention that already? Uh, a quick installation guide, fine. Um, let me get this out first. I think this may be the power supply, yes. Uh, and some cables to connect the SATA drives and apparently some feet, I think. I'm not sure. These are uh, cables to connect the drives to, um, to the motherboard. Uh, the power supply, which is an external power supply, um, which of course the power supply is about as big as the, the box itself. Uh, but this is this is fine for me. I can hide the power supply uh, and this will look much cleaner on my desk. 
right, it won't be on my desk. It will be in a, a separate uh, uh, storage, but uh, what is this? Uh, probably a driver of some sort. I'm not sure if this will be needed, but I'm keeping it uh, for sure. And then the actual case itself, including motherboard. So the assembly went relatively fine uh, because I had no prior experience in installing any computers. I had a bit of problems knowing how much pressure I was supposed to put on the CPU. Uh, I didn't really keep in mind the cable management on the fan, CPU fan at first. Uh, but in the end everything worked out fine, I was able to install everything and the first time I booted it everything was working correctly. So we'll see in just a minute. I was also fairly lucky that I only had in installed one SSD, because apparently the second SSD to install that one correctly you need to remove the motherboard and fiddle a bit more with the screw, so this was enough for me. Okay, I think it is working because what I see is a uh, reboot and select proper boot device. Well, I don't have a boot device yet, I don't have a keyboard connected yet, but um, it's not giving me any RAM errors or any CPU memory uh, errors. It is dead silent. The fan is running. Yeah, this is, uh, this is looking good. Okay, this is me from the future. Um, in the meantime, I've realized that installing the ESXi on the internal SD card was not possible. What I ended up doing in the end is just inserting a very small USB drive. So the little drive that you see here, uh, and I will zoom in a little bit. That drive is in the end holding my OS. Um, the installation procedure that you will see that I followed is mostly the same. Uh, the only difference that, I, that, what, that happened in the end was that I installed it to this USB drive instead of the SD card. I'm relatively sure that you can install just a real Linux on, on the internal SD card. Um, however, I was not able to, to get it to recognize with ESXi. And when installing it via an external SD adapter, part of the file system broke when inserting it in the internal SD card holder or slot. So in the end, I decided to go for this small um, USB drive, which for now seems to be running very well. Oh, oh it automatically took uh, ESXi, so that's good. Um, I put it on the SD card. I didn't do anything. It automatically detected it, so that's good. Um, my screen was a bit too slow in um, in powering on to show me the, the, the options for the, the BIOS. Um, so let's first go to the ESXi installer. Um, because it's loading, I'm guessing everything is installed correctly, but afterwards I do want to check my... Um, um, well, the, the BIOS for potential problems, uh, the, the fan uh, speed and so on. Uh, but as you can see, we have indeed ESXi uh, 7.0.0. It's the latest one I found. We have an Intel Pentium Gold G5400 with 3.7 GHz and 15.7 uh, GB of memory. It's 16, but uh, you know how the, the running works. So again, the, the thing is dead silent. I cannot hear a thing. Maybe if there will be some accumulation of dust or something and then the fan in uh, I don't know, in, 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 in a few months, but again, the fan is constantly running because I will have it on 24 seven. I do not expect uh, that much dust buildup. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, oh, I saw red. Um, so let's see. I'm going to do it. There is nothing that I am afraid to lose because everything should be empty. Um, this may be difficult because I am from Belgium. Oh, Belgium. Okay, root password. Um, I'm 
install. Let's see what happens. Okay, has been installed. I'm going to reboot it. This is future me again. As you can see, we are in a running instance of uh, VMware ESXi. Uh, I am aware that this is probably recorded more than a week after that I set up the initial installation and, and, and whatever. Uh, I had some problems with my real PC or my PC on which I'm recording and editing this now. My video card broke. And uh, I need to get a new one, and it's circum uh, the current circumstances that's not very easy. But anyway, as you can see here, uh, this is my VMware center. I'm currently running two VMs, uh, and I'm slowly starting to migrate all my Raspberry Pis and other devices to here. I have some ideas uh, because I will want us to set up a, a good looking um, network diagram, I guess, so that for me in the future it will also be easy to understand where I'm running certain things. I also want redundant DNS servers, so I will probably be calling this series something like my home lab or uh, my steps into the home lab or something like that, uh, because uh, well, it, there's a lot of work to be done, I'm very excited for it, um, but this little machine here is, is running like a dream, uh, as you can see my, my CPU is, is barely being used, okay, there's also not a lot of running on there yet, but it's just good to know that it's it's been stable. Uh, it's only running for five days, but I, I did some reinstalls and some other thinking just because I wanted to, I guess. I was running into some very small annoyances, but in the end, the reinstall didn't fix it. <laughs> it was just my... Uh, I was just being dumb. Uh, but yeah, the, I'm going to end the video here. Uh, it's it's a running ESXi installation. As I mentioned earlier, it's running on the an external USB drive because the install, internal SD card, unfortunately, I couldn't get to work. If anyone was able to install ESXi on the internal uh, SD card from this machine, please let me know because that's still my, my goal to have because right now I'm occupying a USB drive or USB port. Um, but apart from that, Everything's running smooth. I'm really looking forward to it, to, to taking this thing further and um, putting a lot of virtual machines, well, putting some virtual machines on here, uh, making a, a good looking home lab that is very much st uh, structured. I, I won't have the, the rack as, as some people have, but I, I don't think that's necessary. It's also very expensive. Uh, so I, I want to keep things cheap as well uh, because soon I'll be building a house uh, and that's, that's, that's expensive. So. Yep, that's uh, where I'm going to end the video. I hope you guys enjoyed my first uh, setup of a, of a little server. I'm very excited. I hope you are too. See you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Uh,